What is up out there, YouTube Fragrance family? It's been a while. I uh, wanted to post another OOD video. <laughs> Newsflash, no surprise. I'm glad I waited, actually, guys, to uh, take a look at this one because at first I had smelled so many higher dollar OOD uh, fragrances and from much higher brow houses than Perry Ellis. No offense to the house of Perry Ellis. <laughs> um, but that, that's just the truth. I mean, it's if you're going to compare um, you know, if we're talking cars, the house of Nissan to the house of Lamborghini <laughs> or even Audi, BMW, uh, Mercedes-Benz, Porsche. Yes, Nissan has some fine automobiles, but they're never going to quite compare on all of the real touch points and levels that those higher mark marquee uh, names will obviously for obvious reasons better ingredients more a lot more R&D higher dollar R&D better presentation better materials yada 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 you get the point uh, having said that Perillus <clears throat> Oud Black Vanilla Absolute or the Parfum Concentration which may be true, don't laugh. And this has a really nice embossed, that's not just printed guys, that's actually embossed. So if I get the camera to kind of shine, I can get in there. Yeah, see that? So it's really shiny on the uh, upraised uh, braille type feel. Uh, Arabic, I guess, inspired decoration. So. That is the box, no biggie, 100 mils. So these are getting supposedly a little bit tricky to find, uh, harder and harder, and I assume in a year or two they'll be all but impossible to find, except maybe by then, who knows, ultra high dollar, they might be going for 400 bucks a bottle. <laughs> Never can tell in this industry. Um, nose as far as I know, does not exist out there in the public domain. I tried looking for, at a variety of well-known sources and could not find it. Uh, it's probably a team of noses is, is my best bet from one of the big houses like IFF. Just guessing since they're American and Perry Ellis is American, but you never know. Um, okay, so what are the notes? They are essentially going to be rum. Vanilla Absolute, then we get into our Agar Wood Oud, and finally the base is going to be Black Amber and Blonde or White Tobacco, however you want to call it. There really is no such thing as actual White Tobacco um, in a purely literal sense, but whatever. I guess there are sort of Blonde Tobaccos. Um, okay, bottle presentation is quite nice. Very heavy bottle, very heavy cap, uh, relative to its size, that's just, it's not the heaviest cap I've ever held, but it's got some heft and some mass to it, I b believe that's all metal, there's a plastic insert, and I'm, I mean, it's very solid, very nice sort of gold colored metal top, or somewhere between gold and silver, white gold you might call it, pretty simple bottle. Uh, it's got some heft to it for sure. And the bottle has this real soft click. It clicks into place. I'm not sure how strong that is. It's pretty strong. <laughs> Don't try that at home, or if you do, be warned. Okay, so here we go. Right away, guys. I get the vanilla and the rum, I mean, just right away. Now, I will tell you there's a little aspect I don't really like, and it's that this has a really oily sheen, which, okay, you might argue, well, if it's an eau de parfum concentration, shouldn't it have higher oil content? Well, yes, it should, but that doesn't mean it should go on with an oily sort of I don't want to say sticky sheen, that's the wrong word, but uh, definitely goes on with a little more oily sheen than I would care for, but whatever. 
Now I find that you have to give the oud uh, a couple of minutes to start to develop. It will not instantly be present as some of the alcohol begins to vape off. I get the rum and the, especially the vanilla, uh, much, much sooner. And there's some kind of sort of like a licorice licorice type, almost like a, a star anise type vibe going on in there. Maybe just something resembling ginger and cedar, maybe something, but very minimal, very not not at all up in the top. Maybe a little nutmeg or coriander, cumin. I'm not sure. There's something else going on in there for sure. But the oud starts to come out um, on my skin, honestly, around the four to five minute mark. So that's that's kind of why I was going to poo-poo this scent at first. And then I was like, later, oh, there's the oud. <laughs> it starts coming through at about the three to five minute mark on my skin. Okay, I'm just now beginning to get the faintest hint of it developing, which is a little odd compared to my other oud fragrances that are much more prominent and front and center. Uh, I guarantee guys the oud comes out on this. It never becomes brass or animalic, uh, but it does develop and it stays quite soft on the skin, but it's there. Trust me, it's there. And it's a quite nice scent. Uh, it's pleasant. It's not overly complex. It's not ultra linear, but overall, I think if you give this perfume um, 30 minutes it's not going to do a whole lot more past that mark in terms of develop developmental change uh, it's nice it's a little bit woodsy a little bit tobacco-y tobacco is very mild in this don't look for tobacco if you're buying this purely as a tobacco based scent it's not it's merely in there as an ingredient and you'll be lucky to smell it if at all uh, hiding behind that black amber and the white and this that blonde tobacco you will get a lot of the black vanilla absolute you will get the rum you will definitely get the oud if you're patient but if you're looking for an oud powerhouse or a tour de force this is not that frag this is an interesting fragrance that is definitely on the sweet side definitely on the gourmand side uh, it's unisex almost leans slightly feminine uh, that's debatable till the cows come home. Um, I guess I would say 52, 53% feminine, but it's at least 50, 50, however you slice it. Um, I think for the money, it's, it's a fun, interesting fragrance to have. You can get these online at discounters for around 40 bucks a bottle, between 40 and 50 bucks, let's say us. And I think at that price point, you know, you're not breaking the bank. It is a fun, interesting fragrance. And it might be a great way for you to get your toes wet uh, in the giant um, segment that is oud. And if you like vanilla, I think it's a fine way to also dip your toes in a pretty good vanilla-based scent. Um, it's a little artificial. It's not the most believable vanilla out there. And it's not certainly not the most rich Arabic oud or Indonesian oud or Iranian oud or wherever else they, they get oud from. <laughs> Indian oud, um, Laotian, I know. So Vietnamese, I think, also have some oud. Um, but again, it's, it's a fun, decent fragrance for what it is. Um, definitely not high brow. I'm not saying it's ultra low brow. It's just definitely not the House of Guerlain, you know, for example. That it ain't. It's not the House of Creed. It's not... Uh, it's not even Bulgari, you know. It's not even Salvatore Ferragamo. But for what it is, it's pretty dang good for the price point. So I think this is a very decent bang for buck value. And I, while it doesn't necessarily break in new ground, I think it does a couple of things pretty well. Uh, I think it blends that subtle note of oud with rum and vanilla with a little hint, baby hint of blonde tobacco and black amber. And there's a couple other little micro notes going on there. I don't know what. I know they're not listing the whole breakdown. 
Um, it's pretty decent for what it is. It's pretty good for what it is. It's not great. It's not highbrow, certainly not niche. But again, at 35 to 45, outer limit $55 a bottle. Uh, that should roughly include shipping uh, at most of the discounters. So if you buy another bottle, and you'll for sure get shipping for free. Newsflash. Uh, I think this is worth checking, checking out, guys. That's going to do it for today. Thanks for joining me here on my channel. Steven Sturgill, I've been your host if you've stayed around this long. Please subscribe if you like and hit the bell icon for future updates so you will not be appraised of when I drop new material. Thanks so much, guys. Spray well, spray often, and live life on your terms, not someone else's. Life's too short. Love you guys. Peace. I'm out.